Why is Erika Mena always hating on Nicki Minaj? Oh, that's right. Because Safari used to tap that. So here's the thing, man. And I've been meant to make a video about this. I'm going to show you guys something from July of 2019. But then I'm going to bring it back to April and show y'all like this has been going on for a minute. But the crazy thing about it is this, though. I heard that Erika Mena and Safari are going to be on Love & Hip Hop New York. Some people are saying it's actually going to be Love & Hip Hop Miami. But I'm, I'm hearing conflicting things, but I heard that she's back for Love & Hip Hop, though, one way or another. But Nicki Minaj isn't a part of Love & Hip Hop, so what's the beef about? Obviously, Safari and that Jamaican joystick. So the Shade Room had posted this back in July. Some hater named Parish, Parish Chia, Parish Chia, something like that, had posted some pictures of Nicki Minaj and N Little Kim side by side. Erica Mena liked this post and basically Nicki Minaj had pink hair, Little Kim had blue hair. You might say, well, what was it about? Well, they both have like, I guess, uh, brands uh, like branded on their hair, printed on the hair. I don't know how they do this, but I guess Little Kim is wearing the Chanel logo and I don't know what Nicki Minaj had on her hair. I can't tell what that is, but Paris Chia said, I don't care what any B word has to say. This sh is weird. Yes, she paid homage. Yes, she's a huge rapper and millionaire and very impactful in rap world. But if you beef with someone and had any epic beef that has never been resolved, just die down. Why would you wear trends or styles like a B word you try to diminish and criticize? It's time for a new glam team, Nicki Minaj. Yes, this person added her. Or time for a resolution. And y'all come together as mothers and daughters because this is weird. I'm sorry. This is why I am always confused and make judgments about her. Contemplating emojis and eye rolling emojis. If I got into it with the B word, I would never do sh that's anything remotely similar to them. Nikki is a huge Kim fan back in the day. I guess you meant to say was. That sh is mad corny. I don't care if I'm not professional right now. F that quote. Get your own sh. Why you riding mine? That's of course a little Kim quote from one of her songs from back in the day. And Nicki Minaj had tweeted out something from somebody named Warren Stocker. So I don't know if Warren Stocker and Paris T are the same person, but Warren Stocker said they always just pull some sh out they hats just so they can have someone to go up against my girl Nicki hashtag BET Awards or the BET Awards emoji. And Nicki Minaj said clown emoji. This was him in 2014. Warren Stocker also said. Nikki would never. I'm so here for Cardi supporting these women in the industry. Y'all love to act like the only female MCs are the ones taking off their clothes. There is a diversity of artists out there. You just have blah, blah, blah. Maybe they wouldn't say you just have to, you know, look for them or whatever. But anyway, so what Nikki said to the person was clown teens. Keep my D out y'all mouth. Six days ago, Nikki started posting different female rappers on her page. B words who write raps and expect an authentic come up. Yesterday, y'all started this clown conversation. They'll effing mention me. I'm the effing goat. Anybody who don't know that, middle finger up emoji. So you're the greatest of all time, according to yourself, Nikki. Okay. Remember that, y'all. Nikki Minaj feels like she's the greatest of all time. Who agrees with that? Let me know in the comment section. So, back in April, your girl Erica Mena posted a selfie of Remy Ma holding a Glock in her hand. I don't know if that's photoshopped or she really has it in her hand. We all know that Remy Ma is Nicki Minaj's rival, of course, right? So here's, you know, so basically here Erica Mena is liking stuff that's being said about Nicki Minaj is negative. She's posting pictures of Remy Ma. You know, <clears throat> here's some old tweets of Erica Mena that the Shade Room posted and they said, Y'all done dug up the artifacts. Hashtag Erica Mena, hashtag Nicki Minaj. Erica Mena said back in, let me see, 2010 and 2012. B word, you not even verified. Getting back of the line at Nicki Minaj voice laughing out loud. J-Lo recorded with Nicki Minaj. That could be interesting. Amen. Retweet Nicki Minaj. Hashtag shout out to the girls that spearhead their own destiny get money congratulate the next one and smile at the enemy let's go hot my girl at j julian weaver killed this literally good looks at Nicki minaj 
on having a great co-star in your love music video. That shows you how long ago that was. And in love, it was that first album since years ago. So when people were posting these old tweets of Erica Mena standing Nicki Minaj, Shaver said, oops, looks like hashtag Erica Mena is unbothered with some looking eyes emoji. So Erica Mena has said on Twitter, free promo Thursday. Thanks, suckers. Rose Milan says, right. Erica Mena says, you know, I get a kick out of keeping these zoo animals busy. You can't pay for this much promotion and attention. So she said, I no, I guess this is Twitter. She said at Miss Nessa, yo, Nikki, Kim is angry, laughing out loud. Let's make her cry Friday night. Ha 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 ha. Hashtag loyalty. Now, remember, this is back in 2011, May 17th of 2011. Erica Minna was out here talking about making little Kim cry. And she was Team Nikki. <laughs> Two Face Heifer. <laughs> nah, let me stop. <laughs> I'm still an Erica Mena fan. I'm just messing with y'all. So, in 2012, Erica Mena said, I'm very proud of my team for taking a stance. Enough is enough. I put in my work. Respect me. Okay, that was a quote from Nikki Minaj, which Erica Mena reposted. Erica Mena also said, I salute staying true, loyalty, and respect, something many of you lack. Okay, oh, okay. Then there's that tweet from 2012 where she said, B word, you're not even verified, getting back at the line, and my Nicki Minaj voice laughing out loud. Okay. So she was saying that to to somebody, basically referencing Nicki Minaj and something that Nicki Minaj said, standing once again. So what's the point of me bringing this up now in August of 2019? Some of you might be saying, well, I mean, looking at my clock, it's about that time that Nicki Minaj and Erica Mena should be dissing each other again soon because enough time has gone by. You know, you got to pay attention to the rhythms and the patterns. So I'm wondering whether or not Nicki Minaj is ever going to respond to Erica Mena. Do you think that she is? And do you think that she should? Those are two different questions. Do I think she is? Yes, at some point, I think that even if Nicki says something very dismissive like reality TV B words stay talking about me or something like that, I think she'll say something. And do I think she should? Yeah, in this case, I think she should because even though you might say, well, Erica Mena is, quote, not as relevant as Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj is this huge star, I would have to say, yes, she is absolutely relevant. I think that Erica Mena is relevant at this point. I would say that Erica Mena is more relevant than Nicki Minaj. But if you say otherwise, I understand totally. Because Nicki Minaj is a pretty big star because of what she did in the past. But anyways, let me know what y'all think about it below. Meet Magazine on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and MeWe. Meet Magazine blog on Instagram. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. And remember, <clears throat> if you click all notifications and you don't receive a notification at any single point, any day... Make sure you come to my channel and click videos because you don't miss something. You gotta understand something. I post a new video every single day. So at any point, if you don't receive those notifications, make sure you come back, click videos so you can see what you've been missing. All right, y'all. Meet Magazine.